Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. As you can see by my voice, I am a little bit better now. Um, I felt weak for about a week. Wow. I kind of rhymed horribly there, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, I've been feeling quite weak lately. Um, I don't know the reason behind it. I still don't know the reason behind it, but I've had a lot of sleep now, so I can actually say that I am feeling a lot better. And you can see by my shouting! Roar! <laughs> but, um, yeah. This, today I decided to do a speed build episode. So, something that we haven't done for a really long time. I decided to start off with the speed build, obviously, by destroying. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> but, um, yeah, today we are going to be building the house fully. I decided on this quite late actually because I only recorded it about half an hour ago and before that time I decided you know what today I'm gonna complete my house and um, I did kind of not really but anyway <laughs> I just got the outlay done um, it's got quite big now I must admit I've been um, I used about maybe four or five stacks of wood so you can imagine how big it's got to be I took away the outlet of the mine shop because I'm going to redo it. And, um, that turtle of ours has got really annoying. So I decided to put him in a hole. Yep, a hole. You got it. <laughs> so you'll see that. Uh, I think I've already done it. Uh, maybe not. But you'll see it anyway. But today I decided, instead of talking about what I'm doing in Minecraft, take the advantage of the post commentary to talk about something completely different. And you guys did not see that, I did not change the change text patch, what are you talking about? <laughs> but um, today I kind of want to talk about creativity. And where there's a lack of it in this world, it's starting to get a bit boring. What I mean by that is, there's more YouTubers out there, that is a great thing, because it's got more of a, um audience base now, which is pretty good. And how oh, I fell into a bloody cave! Rawr! But um, <laughs> I'm talking about more like music... Um, novels, um, something like that, because a lot of people lately have gone off that topic and just gone randomly into gaming, which isn't a bad thing if you play multiplayer games, but for people who enjoy creativity on other levels as well, the world is getting to be a boring place, which is not a good thing. So, I asked for something for Christmas from my family, which I have gotten, which I'm not supposed to know, but I do know anyway. And I have gotten my keyboard. And no, I'm not talking about a computer keyboard, I'm actually talking about the musical instrument keyboard. And um, I will be creating some music once I learn how to play properly, because I haven't played for a really long time. It's been about three to four years, I think. And um, in doing so, I hope to create some intro music eventually and put my music what I do on Bandcamp and stuff like that. And I'm looking forward to it. I really am looking forward to it. And I've come to ask you guys a question. Do you guys own an instrument? If you do, put it in the com comments below. And I started death for an unknown reason. Oh my god! Mouth cooperate with me. <laughs> but um, I know a few friends of mine, like Sandra has a guitar. My friend... Um, wait, does he even have the drums anymore? I don't think he does. But anyway, a friend of mine had drums and it was pretty cool. Um, he was really good at the drums and everything like that. But I don't think he has it anymore because... Um, his mum did not like the noise, so... <laughs> and, um... Yeah, in doing so, what do you guys do that's creative? Are you a YouTuber? Are you writing some poems or a short book or a novel or anything like that? Are you a singer? Do you play an instrument? Let me know in the comments below. Show the world how creative you are. Talking of which, of YouTubers and everything like that, lately, YouTube has been driving everyone up the wall. And a lot of you know the reason why, and are complaining about us complaining. Which, I don't really see why, I mean, we do this for what we want to do. Some people do it for the money, but, eh. I'm not going into a sour topic, because a lot of people hate that topic, which I'm going to move away from right now. Moving away. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've been talking with a few friends of mine who are actually YouTubers, and they actually had the same issue as me, with our videos not appearing in most people's sub boxes, um, subscribers going down, view count going down, and this is all YouTube's fault. And a lot of people on Twitter are actually complaining about it as well, which I'm raising awareness for right now, and a lot of people are actually pulling together. So I've actually talked to my friend Sandra about this, and we agreed a while back. 
that we're gonna sh be shouting random people out in our videos like trying to support the community like it should be done a lot of people out there have forgotten what a community is like and it really does sadden me I mean you look at the day I started YouTube a lot of you won't remember because a lot of you are actually new but when I was back in the day we all stuck together and the people who were originally with me still do stick together with me and other people but it's all gone and I want to bring it back I want to bring back the day where people actually helped each other out so I'll be starting a series very soon where it involves of showcasing random channels random people's videos and stuff like that and it's gonna be fun because I'm gonna get to meet a bunch of new people we're gonna be talking with a few of them in Skype hopefully and we're gonna get to know each other more and that's what I think YouTube should be about the you in YouTube is you basically you guys out there you guys are what make us video um, creators who we are without you guys we wouldn't even have an audience so you guys are important just remember that and YouTube wants to take that away from us YouTube wants to say we are about the money we are going to make you do this that the other so we can get money off you and that's really what, not what it should be about it should be about enjoying yourselves and in fact that's what execution is really about people pulling together as one as it could be gamers it could be someone completely different from a gamer but just pulling together as one is what we're going to be about having fun with what we do and um, the first person I do want to shout out is going to be in this episode his name is Karg24. He's a Youper. Youper? He's a Youper. <laughs> He's a YouTuber just like me, and um, he does Terraria and Minecraft videos, and I thoroughly enjoy them. He's been watching my videos for a while back, and I was recently going through my subscribers. Well, recently being an understatement since it has been quite a while ago. I went through some of my subscribers when I had about 400, and I noticed back then some people were also doing videos, and I just kept on watching them. I mean, some of them I obviously didn't enjoy because they were still rookies on YouTube, but everyone's come a long way, and I'm happy for them. I really am happy that people have come a long way from where they used to be. And I've got another friend of mine called Amonistos, I think it is. I am sorry if I said your name wrong, but um, <laughs> I met someone through him, met as an understatement, we don't really like talk or anything, but his name is Griff. And he has the same roughly subscriber count as me. And he does roughly the same videos except he does Call of Duty as well. And it's kind of a small world if you think about it. If you look at your audience right now, I can guarantee you, if you have about maybe 100 subscribers, at least three of them will be YouTubers themselves. And a lot of their subscription base don't know that. So I'm going to try and raise awareness of that. And, um... I think I've said that. Okay, I'm going to move away from that subject right now because I'm kind of looping around. I don't want to do that. The next topic I want to talk about is this Christmas season. Um, season. What's the season? Oh my god, my mouth is not cooperating with me today. But, um... I've actually noticed America seems to celebrate it really early. Like, um, I was talking to my friend Sandra again about it and she said that, um... America now classes it as the 25 days of Christmas and I'm thinking... Heh. It's like, I was watching uh, quite a few videos of people in America as well, and they seem to get their Christmas trees on, like, the 30th or 31st of November. And I'm thinking, why so early? I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoy Christmas. I enjoy everything about it. Meeting with family, friends, and everything like that. But, ouch, that is kind of early. <laughs> the earliest in England that we know about is um, putting the tree up on the 12th of December. Some people do it around the 19th, some people do it closer, and everything like that. I don't know what went wrong with the clips there, I don't know if they're in order or not, but I'll definitely recheck that. I'm just watching over the footage while I talk as well, so... I think I've done it a bit wrong, but I'll figure it out anyway. And, um... Yeah, best of the Christmas season and everything. I'm looking forward to it this year. It's going to be a very different, because, um... As you know, on Christmas time, people get gifts and everything like that. And it brings more creativity to the table. The younger generation are going to be getting stuff like Lego and stuff like that. 
the older generation are going to be getting either computers or instruments and stuff like that and that's all going to bring to the table the next generation and in talking about the next generation we right now are actually setting the table for them and do you really want them to be like who you are or do you want them to be better or worse you have to figure that one out for yourselves but with me I want the next generation to be more creative because right now we don't have a lot of creativity in this world you could call us zombies really we do the same thing every day we're not getting any better at it and if anything we're ruining our planet and some of you are going to be saying oh my god you green freak <laughs> no it's not like that um, what I mean by ruining the planet is we're ruining our bodies with fatty food right now the obesity rate in this world has skyrocketed and I'm not one to speak because I am slightly overweight myself but I do improve myself I diet I eat healthy foods now I even exercise and I'm losing my weight and I look around the world and it, they're not getting any better so going back to the topic I did talk about about creativity that's what I want you guys to focus on this week well this month actually around Christmas time focus on creating something whether it be a YouTube video whether it be a bit of music or some writing poetry spread it around be creative in this world and if you do create something let me know send me either a link or a video response or anything like that to this video and let me see it because I'll be actually quite interested to see it what my audience actually gets up to and stuff like that when they're not watching my videos and stuff but um wow I've actually been talking for a really long time how long has this video been going on for? holy crap I think we're at the nearly end of it yep one more clip to go so I want to use this time to actually ask you guys a question about my Minecraft world what do you guys want me to do? now I've already got one request taken up I have to create a greenhouse for Blazing Wind Fairy I have said that since Alpha 1.2 I think it's 1.2 or was it 1.6 one of them and I still haven't done it and I, I am ashamed of that I really am ashamed so I am sorry Blazing Wind Fairy once I've done my house I'll definitely get onto the um, mine shaft and the um, greenhouse but I'm talking about other things as well what do you guys want to see as well would you like to see a castle would you like to see a blacksmith or anything like that do let me know and I'll try my best to do it if you also see a mob, mob mod oh my god my mouth is not working on me again but um, if you see a mod that looks interesting that adds to the creative side do let me know and I'll see I'll have a look at it myself and I'll probably install it because right now I'm running Mo Creatures and the GUI HUD which you can see at the top left and personally I enjoy Minecraft more when I do this and everything like that and I needed a bit of wood here so um, <laughs> I um, kind of put a tree in my house and yeah <laughs> but um, since we're going to be wrapping this up now I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting me as of late everyone who's still with me on my YouTube channel and active and most of all thank you for being you and that's probably a weird thing to actually hear thank you for being you a lot of people are unappreciated in this world and I was talking about this with some friends and they feel the same They sometimes they don't feel like they're appreciated in this world and they're, that they're not important or anything like that and truth be told every one of you that watches any videos right now and hears what I'm saying you are important you may think to yourself oh I'm not doing anything in this world that may be considered important but who says maybe not now you are important now because you are what you are in the future what you are in the past for example if I wasn't here right now you wouldn't be watching this video and I wouldn't be inspiring you to be creative if um, X wasn't on YouTube I wouldn't even be playing Minecraft if Supercargy was never on YouTube, I would have never done YouTube videos. There's a lot of people out there that are inspiring and everything like that. But um, yeah, I've got to be very careful now because we are literally at the end. So um, 
thanks for watching everybody, and I will continue this chat ASAP, so thanks for watching everybody, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.